Hello guys, it's Steve and Katie. The All Electric family. Today we're gonna have some fun. Yes, do some comparison. Yeah, so we want to compare gas versus electric and we had access to a Ford Explorer, an ST version, mm -hmm. and it's very comparable as far as weight and towing capacity. It can go up to 5,600 pounds, so it's a little bit more, but uh, roughly it's about the same thing. So we want to compare a couple different things with it. Yes. Uh, we'll definitely tell you how it tows versus ours. Yeah, we just wanna see on an ICE vehicle, how much does it take away from its range? How much of its, you know, what is the consumption on an ICE vehicle versus an EV when you're towing? Is it really that much difference? Yeah, so we're gonna do our typical 60 mile an hour for 30 miles on both vehicles and then compare them with a baseline of towing and versus not towing. So we're gonna be doing some driving today. All right, let's get driving. So this is the, it is a 2020 Ford Explorer ST. It has 400 horsepower and the towing capacity is 5,600 pounds. So it should definitely pull this trailer pretty easy. This is our trailer that we normally tow with. So we're just gonna compare it to that since we know this trailer pretty well. So let's get going. cruising 60 mile an hour here it definitely pulls roughly about the same so far we do have 15 mile an hour wind so it is a good test to see how well that this Explorer can handle it uh, but I'll compare it uh, once I trade this over to the Tesla it uh, seems to be doing okay on fuel consumption and not getting pushed around or anything like that. The one interesting thing about this is, this has a lane keep assist, I think is the is what it's called. Um, anyways, it does, it will actually do that while you're towing, but it does kind of react a little finicky when you're doing it. It's a little bit like the autopilot in a sense, it keeps you in between the lanes where it needs to be, but it uh, definitely, uh, makes it feel a little bit weird like it goes back and forth when it is engaged so I disengaged it so I thought maybe it would have one up on the Tesla but I didn't enjoy how it made the vehicle feel so I disengaged it uh, it was not like the Tesla the Tesla will disengage autopilot because it feels the way back there anyways continue on Charger and charge up, fuel up, and switch vehicles to see how the Tesla does now. So let's play musical chairs. <laughs> out too is how long it takes for us to charge back up and put fuel back in the vehicle so let's start the timer now I'm gonna get out and uh, put fuel in the Explorer Stop the timer. Wow, that was a little interesting. First pump didn't work, <laughs> but the second one did, so 
All right, let's go get hooked up to the Tesla, unhook this trailer and do that test run and see how well that turns out. going to test out the Tesla. Let's see how efficient it gets uh, as we tow with it and then compare it. Uh, this one is a 2020 uh, long range plus edition of the Model X and so it's got the longest range possible. Um, anyways, let's go test it out and see how it goes. drives a Tesla so I will tell you that it is weird driving a vehicle that does not have regenerative braking. <laughs> Another thing is is that there's engine sounds. <laughs> it's weird when you go back to driving an ICE vehicle after you've gotten used to driving an electric vehicle. So towing with the Tesla, I would definitely have to say for stability, the Tesla will win on that. It uh, weighs a little bit more, so that's probably why, but it definitely holds to the road better. So yeah, it, it just keeps that trailer really sturdy back there. You feel it every once in a while, but once again, we have 20 mile an hour gusts. Uh, just regular 15 mile an hour winds right now. So it's a good test. I like it. So the Explorer, you could just feel it a little bit more back there. So yeah, let's continue on. So got back here. So in order to charge I do have to unhook the trailer which is kind of a nuisance some chargers you don't have to but this one I will so I will factor that in unfortunately that will give uh, the gas vehicle a big advantage anyways uh, let's get unhooked and start charging well, it took me about three minutes to actually unhook it and now I'm charging so it says about 15 minutes so I think that the the Tesla will lose that battle by you know 10 15 minutes maybe even more <laughs> unfortunately but that that's the way that it is until technology advances to where you can charge super fast uh the the gas vehicle will always win that but I still wanted to compare that the one nice thing is is you got to look at the positives uh I'm going to go get some Starbucks now so let's go do that all right, so we got the numbers and it obviously took me a while. Um, not very good at math, so it takes a lot of time. Now, and compare them in three different categories. I'm gonna start with stability first. I started with the Explorer and the Explorer was really stable, but I had forgotten just how stable the Tesla really is. And once you get in the Tesla and are towing with that, 
the Tesla really does win on that. I'm sure it's the battery stabilize it and really hold that trailer back there comfortably. It's not like the Explorer was terrible or anything, but you definitely could feel the trailer a lot more back there. And so I would have to say that the Tesla wins on that one. Uh, the next category that I'm going to go over is charge and fuel. From the video you can tell that uh, Explorer wins on this. It just takes a lot less time. It took five minutes for me. With the actual Tesla it did take 25 minutes uh, because I did have about three minutes of unhooking and roughly about 21-22 minutes uh, to actually charge. It's really hard to compare the cost. And we do have free supercharging, so it really didn't cost us anything. And it did cost us to fuel up the car, and that's not really a fair comparison, because I don't, uh, not everybody has that. And so, anyways, so for sure, uh, the Explorer does win on this category. So, uh, the efficiency. Um, the Explorer used 3.3 gallons or 12.5 liters and the Tesla used 29.8 kilowatts when towing. Uh, both roughly used about three times the amount of uh, fuel slash energy when towing, uh, which was very interesting. I kind of figured that it would be that way, but understanding that. The Explorer did use 275% more while towing and the Tesla used 317%. One thing I'm always amazed by is miles per gallon and miles per gallon equivalent and that's comparing cost of gas vehicle utilizes and trying to put that into energy consumption in an electric vehicle. And so I'm gonna use that standard one comparing that. Explore, it did get 29 miles per gallon when not towing and 10.5 miles per gallon when towing or in metric standards, it would be 12.3 kilometers per liter without towing versus 4.5 kilometers per liter a uh, while towing. In the Tesla, in miles per gallon equivalent, it got 100 miles per gallon versus 39 miles per gallon equivalent or 42.5 kilometers per liter equivalent and 16.5 kilometers per liter equivalent while towing. So when you look at this, the Tesla does win in this category because it's more efficient when you're comparing the energy consumption versus consumption of gas. And make the electric vehicle consumption a, a lot better and cheaper in that sense. Uh, so this really breaks down into what you want to accomplish. You know, if you want to cover a lot of land in a quick amount of time, you're gonna have to go with a diesel or a gas vehicle. But if you're willing to take the time and go at a slower pace, then you really can use an electric vehicle for that. And that's what we've chosen to do with our current setup. Made us actually stop and smell the roses, so to speak. Uh, we've explored some areas that we normally wouldn't. And we, we honestly have been on regular road trips without a trailer. And so you will explore that area even just a little bit. You'll uh, stop and take a look around, maybe eat at a restaurant rather than get fast food and get back on the road. It, it does help slow down and for a family of five it's really perfect for us because we can do that. It's re really up to you. I just wanted to break this down since we have tone all summer. I wanted to compare it with a gas vehicle that I felt was really comparable to the Tesla and I think that Explorer fit the bill for that. So I really do appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, put them down below. If you wanna watch some of our towing adventures, our camping adventures, or even some of our road trips, definitely subscribe to our channel. But thanks for watching, guys.